Hi, my name is Ellen Mano. I'm, an, I'm the undergraduate coordinator here in the School of Forest Resources. We're one of the units in the College of Ag Sciences. Today I want to tell you a little bit about our wildlife fishery science program. So students who come to us interested in wildlife fisheries also um, are usually most interested in the conservation and management of wildlife and fish and their habitats. And they're often concerned about how uh, humans affect those populations and they want to have a positive influence on the outcome of different species and populations. They're also often interested in combining a career that has some indoor and outdoor activities. The thing to keep in mind though is that a love of animals and fish and being outdoors is not enough to be successful as a professional pursuing these interests. So sometimes students are surprised to find that there's a lot of rigorous coursework involved. It's not just being with the animals and being with the fish and being outdoors. They need to have strong biology and chemistry skills, calculus and statistics, and physics are all very important uh, courses. In addition, we can't manage uh, wildlife and fish in a vacuum. Most of wildlife fish is in the public domain. It belongs to all of us. So we have to be responsive to public interests. So we also have additional coursework in communications and policy and economics because they're all wrapped up with being a successful manager of wildlife and fishery species. The other thing to keep in mind with wildlife fishery science, it's definitely a very competitive job market and the primary reason for that is there's just so many people with those kinds of interests than there, and there are fewer jobs available. So it's definitely a competitive market. The bulk of the employment opportunities, as you might expect, are in the public sector. Since wildlife fish are in the public domain, most of the jobs are going to be with federal and state agencies. There are some opportunities in the private sector with zoos and nature centers, environmental consulting firms, and so on. A sample of the job titles, you know, what do our students do after they graduate? They might be fisheries technicians, wildlife technicians, educators or naturalists, uh, lake habitat managers, wetland ecologists just to name a few of the things our students do. The other thing to keep in mind is that many of our entry-level positions are seasonal and temporary in nature. Again, remember it's a competitive market. And sometimes, even for the seasonal and temporary positions, a prior work experience is recommended. So we definitely strongly encourage our students to get some related experience while they're in school. And for the most part, this means working on a research project or having a summer job or an internship related to your major. Um, if you want to pursue a career as a wildlife or fisheries biologist, then graduate school is definitely uh, recommended because most of the permanent positions go to individuals who have related work experience and a graduate degree. But this is, if it's something you want to pursue, I definitely encourage you to go for it. Um, there's a lot of personal job satisfaction and there are opportunities for those students who are interested and dedicated and who do well. Thank you.